Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to give an overview of how to use generative AI applications like ChatGPT to help in spelling and grammar correction. So here we have, for instance, an example here in Microsoft Word, it could be any text editor, of work undertaken by, for instance, the student. Now, there are spelling and grammar mistakes in this particular Word document. And the inbuilt tool within Microsoft Word hasn't picked up all of them. So what I suggest in terms of a quick and effective and free strategy is to simply take the text and copy it into a generative AI application like Google Bar or ChatGPT or Google Bar and paste it in there. Now, before I do that, I'm going to put in just a prompt. Check the following for spelling and grammar, colon. Then I paste it in. And it's stating that it has found spelling and grammar mistakes. And there we are within the quotes uh, is the corrected um, spell is the corrected text with corrected spelling and grammar. And as you can see, some of the ones there are very subtle. So initially it was place as in fish. If I look above there, um, there we are, place. That was incorrect and it found that and it corrected it. So it is very, very effective in terms of a means by which to correct spelling and grammar. And um, let's just try Google Bard while we're here. So if I go back into Google Bard, and I do the exact same thing. Check the following for spelling and grammar mistakes, colon. Let me just give it a few seconds. Working its magic. And there you have more of an instructional based approach where you have to go in and just read what it's suggesting in comparison to chat gpt it generates the full body again and you just can simply copy and paste it back in now this is not an infringement of the policy and procedures in regards to um, in regards to uh, generative, AI, generative AI applications, because you're pasting in your own body of work and you're specifically asking the AI generative application to check for spelling and grammar. Now, if you are to put in a prompt instead, do the following essay for me or something of that nature, then that is an entirely different uh, matter and is an infringement of academic policy and procedures um within most organizations i would imagine you just need to check this so in summary for effective spelling and grammar checking of your own work you can utilize generative ai applications like chat gpt and or google bard and thank you for watching